G'day, Keithy here. Thanks for joining me again. So I'm here today to talk to you about this little bad boy right here. The old Mega Grunt 4x4, the Black Rat Twin Air Compressor. This little beast has thoroughly impressed me and it saved my bacon, I'm not going to lie. A little bit of a background behind this. So I've got a compressor in here that pumps up my air suspension. And on a Cape York trip, she went... We didn't exactly do it that way, but anyway, it wouldn't pump as good as it should. And um, in order to keep this car at ride height, it takes a bit of air. It takes 150 PSI in the tank to make things happen here. And um, unfortunately, I couldn't get that out of my compressor. It just happened to be the first day of our trip where she packed it in. So I needed something that was going to get me out of trouble at least. Uh, so we could finish this trip. And then come home and I can sort out my other little air compressor there. And this is where the Mega Grunt, the old Black Rat, comes in handy. Definitely save my bacon. So this thing here, I bought this in Cooktown. And um, it's advertised at 150 PSI working pressure. So I thought, you beauty, that's exactly what I need. It's one of those little dual compressors. So it was perfect to suit the application, to fill up my air tank. And allow me to lift the car and lower it as needed especially with the trailer on on the Cape York trip, so that's a big thing for me. But you know what it doubles up as and what its primary intended use, I would assume, is to pump up the old tyres. <clears throat> so let me go through how good this thing is, what I liked about it, what I didn't like, uh, and you can make up your own mind if you reckon it's a half-decent product. All right, so I'll go through some of the things that I like and I don't like too much about this little Mega Grunt. Um, first thing is this carry bag. How good's that? Now that is fantastic when you've got a portable little air compressor. You want somewhere to stash it once you've used it somewhere you can put it safely it gets it out of harm's way when you throw it in the back of your four-wheel drive so i'll open it up now for you this is even more impressive about the packaging double zipped so in the first case you've got your airline and your pressure valve and you've got your instructions as well because everybody reads instructions and in the back section is where your compressor is. So I'll move the bag, I'll put the compressor up here. It's got plenty of length in the cable. Now I don't need to use all of this length because I haven't inflated all of my tires with it. I've only done particular ones. It's got some nice battery clamps on it. Very easy to use, very easy to hook up. And you're in business just like that. I do like that it's got the Nido fittings on it, although I will comment and say that the fittings are actually back to front to where your normal Nido fittings are. So if you come over here and have a look here, that's how a normal Nido fitting would look if you were going to plug an airline or something into it. But in the case of the black rat over here, the fitting that comes from the compressor is actually the male, which should be the female. Never mind, because it does come with an airline, it's not a problem easy enough to hook up. And these are actually quite strong fittings. They feel like very good quality fittings. Now for what I was doing, I actually had to inflate an air tank. It's a 10 litre air tank. And I had to get it up to at least 125 PSI to be able to lift my suspension up. So that's exactly what I did here. Took my little valve cap off. And this is another gripe that I do have, and I'm not trying to bag it out. I'm just giving you an honest review here. When you try to screw it onto a fitting, you'll hear that it leaks a bit of air out. And that's a gripe that I've got with this thing because when you put something onto a fitting, you don't want to lose the air. You're, you're actually trying to put air in. So in that time, in that air that you lose, out of a 10 litre tank, we just lost about 20 PSI just putting that fitting on now. Never mind. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you a demonstration. I'm going to pump this tank up to 125 pounds, which is the working pressure that I need to use to pump my suspension up, and then we'll put some air in one of the tyres as well. Right, so she's hooked up. We'll go turn the car on, and we'll pump up this little tank. Another thing I 
do like about this compressor is it's got these little rubber feet down here and that stops the vibrations it stops it rattling away so you can see here i've got it up in the engine bay of my car last thing you want is a compressor to jump off and fall out and bugger up so i'm going to turn it on now we're going to pump this tank up So that's the little black rat. He's done a great job at what we need it for. Um, pumping tires up is no different. It's actually quite quick, as you would have seen there. It took bugger all to get that tank up from about uh, 90 psi to over 125 psi. I turned it off because I don't need the full 150, but um, I don't have any doubts at all that it would get there. You've made a new friend there, black rat. Done a bloody good job. So if you're in the market for an air compressor, a little portable air compressor, it doesn't break the bank then uh, definitely give this black rat a bit of a thought because I think it's a fantastic little item. As I mentioned before, there's a couple of things that I would do differently. The nitto fitting is back to front, so you should have the mail on your airline rather than on your um, discharge line. Um, but otherwise, you saw it's lovely and stable. So it did that job. It didn't vibrate off the front of my car at all. Um, it hooks up very easily to your battery terminals. It's got plenty of cable here. I even even uh, um, had to take the zip tie off to be able to use it goes back in a little carry bag no worries and that just a handy little addition that if anyone gets one of these things and you're wondering why it's got this little cap here uh, other makes that are very similar to this compressor they offer um, some bits like um, ball inflation tools and things like that little accessories and that's just a handy little spot there that you could store them if you really wanted to this particular compressor didn't come with those accessories but if you did have some stuff like that for inflating footballs or anything else like that then that's where they go all in all pretty good little compressor so if you're in the market for a jewel straight off the uh, battery terminals and it's portable it's lightweight fits in anywhere definitely give the black rat a little bit of thought